Welcome to this demonstration of using AnyCAD technology included with Autodesk Inventor 2016. Briggs Automotive Company has done a great job of designing and manufacturing a great product, the BAC Mono. This is a massive project that requires the expertise of several companies or suppliers that specialize in various engineering disciplines. It's common to find more than one CAD software being used by each supplier, and thankfully translators have been improved over the years. Most major CAD systems can open files from other native file formats. And that's great, but the 3D model data still needs to be translated and is not kept up to date with changes unless the revised file has been opened and replaced manually in the assembly. Inventor 2016 has made a great leap in this workflow. Files from other CAD systems are opened natively without translation and they are updated automatically in the assembly when the model is changed. Let's take a closer look at the Hewland gearbox in this transmission assembly. We have a few more parts to bring in for the quick shift system. Using the vault, we can search for the files we need no matter what CAD system it was modeled in. Look for files via part number or other attributes such as the description of the component. We'll begin by bringing in a pneumatic quick shift designed by Shift Tech and modeled in SolidWorks. Using the AnyCAD technology in Inventor, we will simply insert the native model directly into our design. There is no translation necessary, and it will update if the geometry is changed by the supplier. This isn't just for SOLIDWORKS files. AnyCAD is available for other native formats such as ProE, Creo, CATIA, and Siemens NX. On the right, we have another component of the Quick Shift system that is also made by Shift Tech. It's again modeled in SOLIDWORKS, and we have the ability to turn on and off some of the internal components in the assembly with a user-friendly interface in Inventor. Inventor Professional comes with a complete set of tools for tube and pipe runs. Let's go ahead and apply a couple flexible hoses between the two components on the Quick Shift system. Notice any parts that are added to the assembly are prompted to generate new part numbers based on our customizable scheme. The tube and pipe styles enable us to use an existing template or create our own, which we'll do here. We'll copy this female swivel thread from Parker Hannafin and give it a new name and size. The fittings are automatically oriented and positioned as they are brought to each of the connectors in the quick shift system. Even specify desired distances for tubing and maintain space requirements and avoid any interfering objects in the design. The 30 mm gap not only works on flat faces, it can also be used on cylinders such as a bore or filleted edge. Once the direction of the route has been specified, let Inventor do the rest regarding the creation of the 3D solid for each hose. Next, we'll bring in the shift selector that is designed by Briggs Automotive Company. We can again utilize the great search capability in Vault to find the files we're looking for. In this case, any files containing a selector description. After placing it in the gearbox, we can see that the diameter of the part is too large for the hole, and the flange on the linkage is not going to reach the component. BAC will then contact Hewlin, the maker of the gearbox housing, and request a change. But wait, the gearbox was modeled in Creo. We already did all this work in Inventor around the first revision. How will we know if any other changes have been made? How will we get our new design in our Inventor assembly? Will I need to do any cleanup of the model data? These are common questions that are asked when working with multiple CAD systems. Inventor 2016 eliminates this concern. The models from other CAD systems are now direct links to the file. There is no longer any translation needed from other CAD applications. Simply make the changes to the model in its native application and save. That's it. The next time we open our design in Inventor, the modifications you're witnessing will be up to date. The AnyCAD technology in Autodesk Inventor 2016 is revolutionizing the way companies communicate their designs with one another. Now that we changed the gearbox, we're going to need a new linkage. The copy design capability in Vault Professional makes this easy. First, we'll find the part via description and make the copy. It not only creates the model and drawing file, it also provides new part numbers using our part numbering scheme based on where the component is used in the vehicle in this case, the transmission. The home screen in Inventor saves time when working on more than one project. There is great visual feedback on each preview for the status of the model 
as well as filters such as the files we currently have checked out of the vault. As we zoom in, we can see the changes that have been made in Creo. Let's go ahead and replace the original linkage with the copy from Vault and make a few changes to fit the updated gearbox casing. Modeling an inventor is better than ever using the direct editing capabilities. Grab the face and extend it to other components in the assembly, even faces of parts that are referenced from other CAD systems. Sketches can also be dragged to entities on other components such as the actuator for the quick shift system. Autodesk Inventor strives to make better designers and not expert CAD users. This is the way design should be. The geometry should behave the way that you expect it to. For instance, moving the flanges is a matter of selecting the faces and choosing an object in the assembly to attach it to. We'll do the same thing for the flange above. You can see that we made the shaft for the linkage longer so the flange can reach the selector. Again, we can simply move the flange flush with the cutout. Filleting is another time saver in Autodesk Inventor. Make it a rule that all the objects in the design of a selected face are targeted for filleting. We'll get to see this feature in action in just a moment. Let's create a couple ribs to add some strength to the linkage. As we're creating these features, each command is of course going to prompt us for the size of the objects we're making, as well as the thickness of the ribs, or the radius of each fillet. We want the next rib to have all the same parameters. During the creation of the feature, simply select the dimension from another object in the design. Not only does this save time for measuring, they are now linked to each other. If one of them changes, the other feature updates along with it. Also notice the rest of the edges are filleted automatically using the rule fillet we spoke about earlier. You may remember that we copied the drawing for the linkage along with the model file. Let's take a look at the drawing and check this design back into the vault. You can see that all the changes that we made to the length and the orientation of the flanges has propagated nicely to each of the views. And finally, we'll do the same thing to the main assembly for the transmission. Let's check everything we've worked on back into the vault. You have seen in this demonstration that Autodesk Inventor 2016 brings powerful new capabilities to working with native files from other CAD systems. The AnyCAD technology has changed the way companies share model data and has revolutionized the future of making things.